Okay, let me show you the paste and peel method. So we've got here, we've got our surface and we've got our transfer. It's a good size transfer. I'm just going to put it down here. Make sure there's no bubbles. Now there's, if I, I, if I did this all in one color, it would not be, it would not be a problem. If I wanted to do a little bit more detail, sorry, I got some bubble under there. If I wanted to do a little more detail, take a little more time, change up some of the colors, it might take me a while to get the paste on. And there's a chance that the paste in the first part will dry before I get to the paste at the last part. And if that happens, when you go to peel it up, instead of leaving the paste on the surface, you will be peeling it up with the transfer. So you don't want that. So let me show you how to do paste and peel. So we're going to start with whatever color and we're going to do just a little section and we're kind of taking our time, which is all well and fine, as long as your paste doesn't dry. It dries pretty quickly because it is made out of natural ingredients. So I'm smoothing this on, I'm taking my time, but I don't want this to dry. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna stop right there and I'm going to, before I'm finished, I'm going to peel up just this section that I pasted, just that section, and I'm gonna stop right there. I can wait for a second or I can get my dryer and just kind of give it a quick little, quick little dry. And now the paste is no longer attached to the screen. It is down on the surface. So I'm gonna lay, I'm just gonna gently lay this back down. I'm not going to push this back down, only where I still need to chalk. So this is just laid down, this is pushed down, and now I'm going to switch to my next color, or it might even be the same color, but I'm just taking a little extra time to do it. So feel free to do this at any time you feel like you're, you're taking your time and your paste might be drying. Better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna do this little section and maybe it took me a little bit longer than I thought or maybe my paste was extra thick. I'm gonna repeat that process. This is loose. I'm gonna peel up just that section and then I'm going to give it just a little quick dry. And you can kind of see I didn't push it all the way down when I relayed it back down, so I have a little bit of bleeding there. That's okay, I can clean that up later. So I'm gonna just gently lay that down, but make sure you push where you still need to chalk and then continue on changing colors or continuing with the same color, but just taking your time doing it. So don't rush through it, but if you don't go quick enough, you will have that problem with paste drying. So this is just a simple little technique to prevent that from being problematic. So it's called paste and peel. You paste a little section, and then you peel up the transfer before it has a chance to dry. So one more time, peel this up, stop at where I've finished, give it a little bit of a dry, And again, lay back down the transfer. Don't push where you've already pasted, and but do push where you still need to. So you continue on until you're completely done. So you're just doing it in little sections. Hope that makes sense, and I hope that really helps out in your crafting. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.